What's up guys, it's Dante aka Game Fiend Fiend of All Games here back finally giving you another drama scripted. But before I start off every drama scripted, I start off with the ratings that we got raw with 1.67 million. We got NXT 2.0 with 768,000 and we got NXT, sorry, the AEW with 790,000. Uh, so... I don't know if you guys heard the news, but apparently Ricochet has been very, very vocal that he will not be re-signing with the WWE. Uh, his contract seems to be up sometime um, this summer, and he's been vocal about not re-signing with the company. Uh, Ricochet has numerous achievements in the WWE. Uh, multiple Intercontinental title reigns, multiple U.S. Championship reigns, the first ever uh, WWE Speed uh, champion. But a lot of people are saying, was Ricochet ever utilized to his full potential? Because it seems the vast majority of Ricochet's WWE uh, career, he was mostly stuck in, in really mid-card hell and really didn't get any type of really television time the most television time um i'm talking about solo like promo wise the most television time ricochet ever got is with uh the segments and the feud he had with uh logan paul but after after that it just went back to the same old same old um jobbing him out or using him for mid-card matches they never really put him in the main event ever so i'll leave a comment section below uh if you feel that ricochet was under underutilized in the wwe and it's uh very interesting to see where uh ricochet is going to go after wwe is it going to go back to new japan is it going to go to AEW? is it going to go to impact who knows it's i don't know it's, it's fantastic time in wrestling a man could basically go anywhere he wants in other non-drama scripted news uh vince mcmahon has been completely banned and barred forever stepping into wwe headquarters uh this news came out love free like like a week and a half ago so it's crazy to see that the thing that he once built he, well, he purchased it from his father like a long time ago for a million dollars and turned it into a multi-billion dollar industry now he can't even set foot in the building. But, I mean, he's no longer an employee, so, yeah. I mean, but to be to be barred from it, that's, that's kind of crazy. But ever since Vince has been gone, it really, really, really has been a, a breath of fresh air. Um, hell, the fucking Jordy Grace is on... NXT with the Impact title that would ne I don't think that would ever happen under under Vince. I just personally think it probably would never happen under Vince. Um, so I love the storylines, love everything that's going on in WWE. Like I said, it's like a brush of fresh fresh air. Uh, Papa H really knows what he's doing. Motherfucking God, Gorillas of Destiny is in the W like. What? Like we're 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 eventually probably building up to get a tag match that we thought would never happen. We're gonna get fucking gorillas versus the Usos. If you don't see that that build that's coming, I I don't know. But we're we're eventually gonna get that match. And even there's just even thinking about us potentially getting that match for next for for next year's WrestleMania in Vegas is just is, is, is mind blowing. Um this weekend coming up, we got Clash at the Castle. Let me give you my thoughts and predictions on that. June 15th, 2024. Uh, let's see. So far, five matches listed. I think they might add. I think they may add Kevin Owens versus Solo, but that's still up in air. It's not on the official card yet. But we have Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill versus Arriva Fire. Elsa Dawn and Shayna Blazer and Zoe Stark for a triple threat tag team match for the WWE Women's Tag Team title. I have Jade and Bianca Belair coming out of that. We got Zami Zayn 
versus Chad Gable for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. I see Sami Zayn walking out with still being the IC champion. Bailey versus Piper Nelvin for the WWE Women's Champion. Got Bailey winning. And we got Damian Priest versus Drew McIntyre. They probably may have Drew go over in Scotland. I'm not even going to hold you. They may have Drew go over in Scotland. I'm going I'm to say Drew. I'm going I'm to I'm say Drew. And then they can feed off the... The CM Punk and Drew McIntyre feud from there. But, yeah, those are my thoughts and predictions on WWE's Clash at the Castle, the news on Ricochet, and Vince being banned. If you like what you have witnessed, please subscribe to the channel. I'll try to get another drama scripted out one per week once I can, but I've been extremely busy. Thus, we've gone on a week and a half without a drama scripted. But, and always, guys, I'm Game Fiend, Fiend of World Games, and I'm out of here. Later, and peace. Be safe, everyone.